Okay, as you can see in today's video, we are going to be talking about what is an ampere. But before we do that and get into that very interesting topic, please don't forget to subscribe. Click on that red subscribe button down there at the bottom. Then give me a thumbs up, leave me a nice positive comment, and share this video with all of your friends. Okay, what is an ampere? An ampere, now this is just a really basic first thing here. Is ampere is a basic unit, or maybe it's the derived unit of current in the metric system. And when we talk about amperes, we have to kind of talk about amperes and currents at the same time, so we kind of, it's hard to separate the two. So remember, the symbol for current is an I. The abbreviation or the symbol for ampere is an A. A for ampere, I for current, like V equals I times R in Ohm's law. And then when we put those two things together, we can say that I equals 0.5 MA, which we don't say it like that, of course. We just say that the current I, the current, is equal to 0.5 milliamperes or milliamperes. Amps. All right. Now, the definition of what is an ampere is like this. If the current in a circuit is one ampere, then one coulomb of charge passes a point in that circuit every second. All right. That's how we say it in words. And if we draw it out in symbols, we would say that one ampere, the current is one ampere, is equal to one coulomb per second. Okay. This is a, an ampere is a coulomb per second. It's a coulomb of charge per second. Now, remember, more symbols here. Q is a symbol for charge, and charge is measured in coulombs, and the abbreviation or the symbol for coulombs is a C. So this is like saying one ampere is equal to one coulomb of charge per second, or if you want to sound really cool, you just say one ampere is one coulomb per second. Okay? So that's really what an ampere is, is when one coulomb of charge passes a point in a circuit in one second or every second. Now, we have one coulomb, of charge passing a point if we have one ampere, but what, well not what is a coulomb, but how many electrons, because it's really the electrons that are flowing through the circuit, it'd be really interesting to know, well, how many electrons is that actually? We can use this equation, Q equals N times E, N being, Q is the charge, one coulomb, N being the number, N is a common symbol we use for number, and E is the elementary charge, which is the charge on an electron or a proton. So N is equal to, if you rearrange that, is Q divided by E. We want to know one coulomb of charge, and we want to know, and we know that the charge on an electron and the charge on a proton, one is negative, one is positive, but that elementary charge is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That's the charge on an electron. And if we take that whole thing, one coulomb, and divide it by the pieces, or the value of one piece, then we would get that in one coulomb of charge, there are 6.2 times 10 to the 18 electrons. So we would, could say in one coulomb of charge, there are 6.2 times 10 to the 18 electrons. That means that if the current is one ampere, that 6.02, not 6.02, that's chemistry, 6.2 times 10 to the 18 electrons are passing a point in that circuit every second if the current is one ampere because then it's one coulomb per second. Okay, now we just have a little short little problem here for amperes and current. And we can say we have this circuit, we have a battery, we have an ammeter, current meter measuring the current, and we have a resistor, and we can say the current in that circuit is 2.5 amperes, and we're gonna let the current run or let the circuit run for five minutes. Okay, and we could say, therefore, we wanna let's figure out first maybe how long, how many coulombs of charge that is in five minutes, well, we know that 2.5 amperes is 2.5 coulombs per second, and we know that in five minutes there are 300 seconds, five times 60, five minutes, one minute, 60 seconds, five times 60 is 300, and that means you would get 750 coulombs. Well, how many electrons is that? We take the 750, we figured out on the previous slide that 6.2 times 10 to the 18 electrons per coulomb, and that means that in five minutes, 4.7 times 10 to the 21 electrons would flow through that circuit, through that ammeter, or through any given point in that circuit, since we basically have a series circuit here. Okay, there you go. So that's a quick introduction as to what an ampere is, one coulomb per second. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel. Once again, get all my excellent physics chemistry and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Please leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them just how much you care. We will see you in the next video. That's the end.